In this video, I'm going to share with you my strategy of how I prepared and cleared AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner exam in just 10 days of preparation. So no need to mention guys, exam preparations are different than how we work in day-to-day -day life, right? So I'm going to share you how to prepare for this exam. Step-by-step, -step, how I did it, how the exam was, and how you can do in the same way, which platform I used, all these things I'll share with you, okay? So let me go ahead and share my screen with you guys and try to show you what is the certification that I have done and what is the badge that you will receive, okay? So this is the badge you will receive, AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner Foundation. And you can put it in your resume, you can put it wherever you want in your LinkedIn. And needless to say, I can't insist more on this. If you don't have cloud knowledge or if you don't have cloud understanding, at least in one of the cloud service provider, uh, it's not going to be easy going forward. Okay. So this is the exam, guys, foundation level exam. After that, other levels of exam will come. But first, you have to clear this foundation level exam from AWS point of view. Okay. So here, if you go to this page, you have a document here which you can read, download the exam guide, download sample questions, etc. But I'm here to make your life easy, not difficult. So I will not click on these. Rather, I will just tell you in, you know, my understanding how this exam is made up of, okay? What you can expect in the exam. So as you can see, guys, there are four areas they will try to touch in this exam, okay? One is cloud concepts. 26% of questions will come from that area. Another is security and compliance. 25%, this is the area where I struggled most. I will tell you why. Then technology area, here I was quite comfortable, okay? 33% of questions come from here. And then billing and pricing, another 16% will come from here. Total how many questions? Total 65 questions you will get. How many minutes? Maybe 90 minutes you will get, okay? So this will be multiple choice. And there can be more than one correct answer also sometimes. Now, what is the objective that AWS is trying to check? Why this exam is there? This exam is there to ensure that the candidate knows basics of AWS. So if you see here in the first module, they try to check if you know foundations of cloud computing. For example, what is cloud computing? What is meant by zones, ability zones, regions, data centers, all these things. What is the meaning of hybrid cloud, private cloud, public cloud? All these things will come in cloud concepts, okay? In the second part, I will go in more detail of this, just a high level I'm giving you, okay? In this one, they will check, do you understand the security standards or security protocol in cloud? For example, how do you set a virtual private network? How do you communicate between a public cloud and a, you know hybrid cloud kind of environment? All these things, they will check you. And since this is not my area, so I struggled in this because I'm not a kind of networking guy. I'm not a kind of firewall and those things I don't understand, you know, much better. So I struggled a little bit in this area, but, you know, I, I, I was able to clear the exam. I will tell you how to study. Technology area is where they will check if you understand what is Snowflake is, what uh, S3 is, what Athena is, what uh, SageMaker is, what it does, what is EC2, what it does. Okay. Most of these things I have covered in my AWS playlist, guys. You can see the link here. Please go and watch that if you have not watched. Okay. And then billing and pricing, as it suggests from the name, they will check you whether you know how many types of accounts can be there in AWS, how people can create account, what is the difference between an enterprise account and a business account and a developer account, etc. So billing related things. Okay. Remember, guys, in all these, the passing marks is roughly 70%, 70% 70 75% you can think of, but always, you know, keep keep your eye on 90% plus, okay? 90% plus you should target for. And how do you check your preparation? Now, let me take you to where from I prepared, okay? So, now one disclaimer, this video is not sponsored. At Unfold Data Science, not even one video till date is sponsored. Same with this video. This video is not sponsored. But since I have used that platform and I liked it, I'm going to show you, okay? So if you go here, guys, there is a website called a Cloud Guru, okay? Learn a Cloud dot Guru. And this is the page where if you say learn dot a Cloud dot Guru, okay? Then what you can get is you can get all the certification paths related to everything in the world that happens in cloud, not AWS, GCP, Azure, anything you can take, okay? But in this video, we are going to discuss AWS and in particular, this exam, AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner exam, okay? 
so as i was telling you guys what i did is now this is a paid platform guys first of all okay first seven days will be free after that it is paid so i pay 40 pounds per month which is 4000 rupees per month okay if you can prepare in seven days you know you can be super fast in learning studying and in seven days you can prepare maybe you can do in free mostly since i plan to do more certifications so i am paying monthly 40 pounds in this okay so what what i did is if you see here right i i discussed about four areas so one is foundations of cloud computing that is one area second area is technology as you can see here third area is your security and compliance as i told you this is the area i was kind of struggling a little bit and then pricing billing and governance okay now as i was telling you let's see a little more detail of what all areas they will touch in this for example if you understand what is cloud computing what is deployment models what is global infrastructure what is aws account etc in technology as i told you ec2 s3 analytics related things dynamo db related things etc okay in security they will talk more about you know uh, security services, IEM permissions, what root user can do, what root user cannot do. All these things are very, very important to know, critical to know. As I told you, it, it consists of 33% almost. 33% or less than that, let's check that. 25% actually, 33% is technology. So 25 also very good percent, right? So this area is, you may little bit struggle on this because many things to remember here. Exams are given in a little different way, guys, right? Exams is like you have to remember things, okay? So what I did is, and then price billing and governance. So what I did is, I just came here. Total duration of the course is how much, you know? Um, it will be close to, I think, 20 hours something, 22 hours something, okay? So what I did is, I came and I watched all these videos, and you will, in this portal, they are taking 40 points, but giving a lot of things, guys. See, they give you playground, means you no need to pay anything from your pocket for AWS billing, etc. Okay. Then they will give you some labs. They will give you if you want, if you are interested in Azure and other platforms, right? All those things they will give you, all those courses, all those certifications they will give you. Okay. And what I did, I came here, I watched all these videos one sort in, in 1.5 X speed. Okay. Then I started taking this practice exam, which is there at the bottom. You see this? This is first practice exam. This is second practice exam. This is third practice exam. So what I did is I took the first practice exam and I, I checked which area I'm lagging in out of these four areas, right? Which area I'm lagging in. And then next to what I did, did is I go into more details of that area only. For example, suppose I'm lagging in technology area. So on day one, I gave the exam. On day two, I went to only technology area and took one more exam, okay? In that exam, I just came and checked which area I'm lagging in. On day three, I just went and focused on that area itself. Now, many things to remember here, guys. Okay, that's why it is a little difficult. For example, there are four types of billing in billing category, four types of account you can have in AWS. Basic account, developer account, enterprise account, and business account. Now, you have to remember which account, how much price, which account, what is the you know uh, resolution timing for the ticket. These things you have to remember. So there is a possibility that you will forget. That is why I planned my strategy was I will not give any gap. I will not be like, you know, three days I will study and then I will give some gap and then I will study. No. In one stretch, one week, 10 days, 15 days, how much ever you want, continue that. Don't give a gap. Come here. Keep giving the exam. See which area you are not doing good in. Go to that area. Revise one more time. One more test exam you give. See which area you are lagging. Repeat this process again and again. Okay, why I'm telling you to repeat this, guys? Because if you fail, right, the the exam cost is nearly hundred dollars. Okay, and if you fail, it's not worth it, right? So see here, ninety minutes and cost is hundred dollars, nearly you know seventy five hundred eight thousand rupees, right? So you don't want to fail in this. Okay, so how how should you do that? You should start giving the practice exam. So one one round you study everything, give practice exam, go back and see where you are lagging, prepare on that one more practice exam, one more practice exam. Keep giving, keep giving, keep giving. Slowly you will see that you will be able to score 90% plus in all those categories. Okay, and this is what your target should be because we should always try for something better than what what is the pass marks, right? So try for 90% plus in all these categories separately, not at a overall level, separate level, okay? 
and one more thing i want to tell you guys here it's a matter of remembering things okay so remember how in college you used to give exams right remember things is what what is expected what aws expects you to know is what is the difference between let's say uh, if you take if you take ec2 instance right you can pay in four ways for example on demand instance pay as you go instance reserved instance and dedicated hosts okay so aws expects you to know for a particular use case which type of instance which type of ec2 billing will save my money okay and these things you need to remember so it's a matter of remembering the various components and what they offer now if you ask me how many components are there you may get little scared by seeing the list here but believe me guys if you practice it is doable okay so if i come here see in cloud concepts only these many things okay in in this one uh, if global infrastructure if you go to any other thing which tools concept might be covered in the exam see how many tools are there right so you should remember for example if somebody says aws code commit right at the moment somebody says code commit you should remember that okay code commit is git in aws simple okay if somebody tells you amazon connect then you can think of okay amazon connect is a way to connect to customers okay aws budgets what i can do with aws budgets aws budgets i can track where my money is going all these things so it's a matter of understanding the overall spectrum okay and one very important thing guys if you give the gap right you will start forgetting don't give the gap okay 10 days 15 days how much ever time you want to take one round of study one practice exam again one more round of study one practice exam one more round of study one practice exam and you have this badge which you can put and start looking for jobs start increasing your salary if you are interested in doing more which i am doing right now i am doing this one certified solution architect okay once i clear this i will tell you also how to clear this and i have taken the membership of this because this is giving me good material and good practice exams to do okay so i hope you got benefited from this guys nothing to share with you in this i think everything this is if you go in google and write aws certification this link will open okay i'll see you all in the next video guys wherever you are stay safe and take care